Welcome everybody. I heard that you belong to the lucky ones who can visit the World Congress on Undergraduate Research. Let me tell you some facts about the scene of this event, the University of Oldenburg. As you can see in this map, Germany is in the center of Europe. Let's have a look on the north of Germany where we can find Oldenburg. The host of the event will be the University of the Small Town. In the first years, Oldenburg was known for the formation of teachers. During this time, you talked about the Pedagogical Academy. Right now, we are standing in front of the first building of this academy, that nowadays is still used for the university, known as the Building A11. After the university was founded in 1969, the number of students increased rapidly and more space for education was needed. Come with me, I show you the other buildings. Back then, the architecture was considered truly avant-garde. Actually, I think there was just not enough time. Here, you can see the name of our university. There is an interesting story behind the name. We had the University of Oldenburg, but people suggested to name the university after Karl von Osiecki. Osiecki is known for his democratic engagement, for that he was arrested by the Nazis. He was brought to concentration camp Esterwegen and died later in a hospital because he got tuberculosis while he was at the concentration camp. The university wanted to honor his political commitment, but lots of people didn't want his name for the university because they couldn't draw a connection between the city Oldenburg and Osiecki. But after the amendment of 1991, the university got its new name. Some students even added a dove to the name, which should underline the piece Osetsky stood for. Nowadays, this is our official logo. Oh, you're hungry? Then it's time to show you the canteen. Up to 1982 students could eat here. But let's talk about the heart of every university, the library. Here you can find about 1.4 million books and an extensive databank of books, magazines and so on. Isn't it impressive? Since the early 80s, the Karl von Osiecki University has been consisting of two campuses. Here you can see the campus Wechloi, where the faculties of natural sciences are located. The most famous building of the campus Wechloi is the Energy Lab. It was a milestone for the applied research of renewable energy. Of course, I have to show you the biggest building of the Harentor campus. This is our lecture hall, also called A14. The building is existing since 1998 and you can find its silhouette in the logo of the university. This is the memorial of Karl von Osketsky which is important for the Congress because it was built to remind all of us to reflect our researches, referring to its good and bad consequences. Funny is that many German students don't even know that. Okay, I think we've talked enough about the history of the university. Everyone here is looking forward to hearing the research ideas from the participants of the Congress, which will be presented right here where we are standing. But for now, I have to say goodbye. See you in May.